You are now entering the world of Musings of a Geek Podcast Network. Stay geeky, my friends. Hey, this is Justin from the Inconclusive Breakdown Podcast, and you're listening to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. Hello, and welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 19. This time I am Neil C. <laughs> I'm going to be Annalise. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Well, I was just saying, because the last time I didn't introduce myself. Right. How are you there, sexy pants? I'm good. I'm a little tired. Yeah? A little tired. You had a full day yesterday. I did, which is kind of funny, because it wasn't a totally full day, and I didn't really do much besides hang out and get taken pictures of. But Well, why don't you tell the peeps a little bit about yesterday? <laughs> are you looking at my mic? Yeah, yeah I'm <laughs> obsessed with mic placement now. <laughs> you just keep looking down at my, I'm like, oh my either they're staring I'm, at my I'm, mouth or the mic. I'm, I'm not really upset. sure. <laughs> I think the, the microns that I move it doesn't make a bit of difference anyway. But That's anyway. Funny. Um, uh, yeah, okay. So I uh, had a bridal shower yesterday. Stop touching. <laughs> don't touch my mic. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you had a bridal shower yesterday? I did. Tell it to me, collector. Oh, hold on. Special Chris. You're welcome. Special request. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it. Um, you're a lovely family. Uh, kind of yours, too. <laughs> now mine as well. Yay. Um, threw me a little uh, bridal shower with a bunch of really nice ladies who came out and spent their Saturday with me. It's you mean really family? Nice. Well, uh, <laughs> there was a lot of family. A lot of friends came. Yeah. And my mom and sister-in-law came. And um, <clears throat> that would be uh, Michael's. <clears throat> Wife Michelle, and Michael from Who the What Now? Who the What Now? Yeah. Um. So uh, it's uh, it's pretty funny because when I got there and you drove me and picked me up, so thank you. So that way, I could drink and not mm-hmm. worry about it. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I got there, they were setting everything up, and and of course, as soon as I get in, they're like, "Okay, what are you drinking?" I'm like it's eleven <laughs> thirty. <laughs> <laughs> I have had like three bites of a protein bar. I'm not really sure I should start, so I quickly had like six chips. <laughs> Need a base. And then you started with vodka lemonade? I had a very, well, a small glass of lemonade with a tiny bit of vodka in it. I saw you pour the vodka, so I don't know your version (laughs) of tiny. I think people know from the amount of times I have to go to Costco to buy you vodka (laughs) and chocolate bonbons and cigarettes. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Okay. (laughs) Um, I'm pretty, you since you always read the receipt, everybody knows that wasn't on the receipt. Except when? for the vodka, oh, ones, okay. not the chocolate like, bombs and cigarettes. <laughs> but um, anyway, so yeah, I started off a little slow and I tried to, you know, sip on that for a little bit, but your sister wasn't really having that. And she's like, Mai Tai? <laughs> Let me get you a Mai Tai, but you don't get any ice. <laughs> I'm really? like, oh, okay. <laughs> and it's anyway. funny because your Mai Tais are almost more like rum punches than Mai Tais. Um, yeah, close, yeah. but they're very tasty. Yeah. And uh, I have to actually credit my uh, friend Miriam for finding the recipe a while ago. And I've given the recipe out a few times, and now your mom uses it at parties because you can kind of pre mix it and put it in a and they're really good. dispenser. They're really, they're really sugary, good. but they're really yeah. good. And they and, work. Uh, they had to actually, halfway through the party, make another batch. Yeah. <laughs> so they're pretty popular, and never had umbrellas and fruit and so that was really umbrellas in the cool. drink or were they walking yeah. around with them? that would be yeah that here's would be, your fruit and an umbrella and walk around <laughs> that would be hilarious if you have a party and you're like we wanted to make fruity umbrella drinks but you just hand somebody an actual umbrella <laughs> you're like here's your drink and here's your umbrella you have to walk around with it please that don't knock be... anything off the walls <laughs> that'd be hilarious they'd be like uh yeah. middle of july but uh yeah so then um I had some really cool stuff there, and your uh, family decorated everything really nicely. It had, like, a Jamaican theme, and they had reggae music playing, and um, they had, like, um, little fish and seashells on all the tables, and uh, then we had uh, Mexican food. <laughs> yeah. Well, because... Well, because uh, not only is, uh, I think, jerk hard to make, but it's too spicy for me. Right. So, and obviously, it was for me, so we were trying to yeah. figure out something that I could eat. And there was there was so much involved in planning that when it got, it got to the food, I think they wanted something where everybody could find something. Yeah, and it would be easy, and people could just eat right. without like, what is this? Right. You know? And your sister's vegetarian, and and uh, neither me or like my mom can have spicy food, so you know there were a lot of people to please, and everybody seemed pleased because uh, everybody ate. So. Right. But um, so that, and then they um got everyone together and everyone made us like a scrapbook right for a wedding and Jamaica trip and everything so that's really cool I think that'll be really special yeah and uh, one of my favorite parts is uh 
I'm not sure whose idea it was, but uh, in Lisa's backyard, they set up um, what I now live in the refer to as the Santa Claus station. Mm-hmm. It's a little bench with pillows on it. That it was the, I had the to picture sit, station. Yeah, the picture station where I had to sit and everyone um, took pictures with everyone who came. And, and so we just started calling it Santa Claus station by the end. And, and you know, a couple of girls sat down and she started with, and I would like a pony and a right. holly hobby. And uh, anyway, so it was really funny and well, I had a really good time. So. It was funny because you had a lot of rules for this shower. <laughs> well, I'm, you know, older and That's and fun. I've gone to a few showers. And so, I mean, as much as... Well, you started with, I don't want a shower. Right. I don't want well. anything. <laughs> and, then, and then as people uh, were saying that they really like to, it seemed like you warmed up to it and you yes. were actually like, I do want a shower. I just don't want to feel like I'm putting people out because right. you didn't, you don't want it to... Unfortunately, we all have been in situations or know people that will offer to do something. And then when it comes time to do it, they make it seem like it's this huge burden. And it's like, well, why did you offer to throw a shower or a birthday party if you really don't want to do it? Right. And it's it's a lot of work and it's a lot of organization. It's It's a lot of work. Right. Which is why the ladies, I think, all split it up and did parts of it and stuff. No, that's not why at all. They split it up because... (laughs) Each one of them wanted to do it, and the other one was going, no, I want to do it. So they finally came to an understanding of like, fine, we'll all do it together. Um, <laughs> that brings me to the what I learned this week. All right. Uh, but, I, but, I, I'm loved. <laughs> yes, you are very much. Uh, but, it, it's, um, but it was interesting because I think, I think um, as you saw that these people really wanted to do it for you, I think you became a lot more comfortable with yeah. it. It was like, oh, okay, this isn't just something that's being done because it's supposed to be done. And a week before I'm going to hear what a pain in the neck, you know, no one ever right. complained right. about anything, but it was funny. Yeah, they didn't even really talk to me about it very much. No, you, <laughs> they hardly even talked to me about it except to make sure what you could and couldn't eat or would and wouldn't, wouldn't eat. Right. Um, <laughs> but it was funny because yeah, you had all these rules. Uh, there was um, no games, no games, no games. Uh, no opening of gifts, right. which totally ruined my the only. But you part knew that. Of the shower. You knew that. No, I didn't. Oh, really? I did not. Why would I do what I did if I? Don't I don't know. So the part of the shower that I wanted, because I obviously wasn't invited, I was just a chauffeur, <laughs> was that I actually got you a gift for your shower, right. which I it was like the perfect like you'd be like oh opening the gift and who's this from and everyone would be like oh who's that from and you'd be like oh it's from Neil and everyone would be like oh. It'd be like, oh, he's so sweet. Nothing. I get there and all the <laughs> gifts are there. I'm like, what is going on? Everybody loves you so much already. You needed that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and I thought it would make you happy too. So I wasted I'd, money on a gift. That's the way uh, I'm wow. looking at this whole thing. <laughs> I liked the gift. Thank you. And the cool thing was we actually, the same thing we did with our uh, wedding gifts. Because, you know, being older and we have everything we need, we didn't, you know. I I remember talking to my mom and saying, look, we're going to feel bad if somebody goes out and buys us, let's say a coffee machine, and we're just going to turn around and return it. We have all that stuff, you know? Right. So we went through Honey Fund, which is mm-hmm. a really cool way of like, right. you you put online like the things you want and people can donate money to it. Right. And then you just get the cash and you can go out and buy what I'd you want. I've never heard of it before. Your sister used it for her wedding and it is, it's really brilliant. And it lets you like actually pick out like gift ideas and lets a person pick out like um, someone bought, like we put a bike tour or whatever, yeah. and someone bought we us put the, the bike tour. We and... put the dog boarding there. We right. put the airline, you know, and it, and you can make your, whoa, I almost <laughs> knocked my coffee oh, over. Lord. You can make your own prices. So <laughs> it's like for the dog boarding. <laughs> Neil really enjoyed making up funny prices, like $38 and 64 cents. Yeah. Yeah. So it was cool. <laughs> so if anyone wants to buy us a gift, no, I'm joking, but it, it, so it worked really well. And I would say everybody stuck to it. Yeah. And some people also bought some bought right. you something really cool things too yeah i thought I, the best part was yesterday when you were opening the gifts and you were like do you smell coffee and i'm like <laughs> uh no i had I coffee asking you, i asked you like four times i'm like what is that coffee smell and, like, and i, I kind of started looking around the house like i'd left coffee out or something yeah i'm like i had coffee earlier and then the next gift you opened was uh from your friend ronnie right yeah and it was coffee yeah from so stump town from portland yeah right which is the coffee that we served which in all ties my coffee in shop, yeah, so so it's all full circle, and she I think it's awesome that she obviously had remembered that and found it and gave it to right. me, so it's really awesome. So as Hannah will be happy to point out, mm-hmm. and I will say, since the shower was about me, I'm a little bummed you didn't open gifts there. <laughs> so that's it. 
That's all I have to say. Sorry, Hannah. And it's funny because my <laughs> gift, it's not like my gift was something that people would be like, wow. No, you just wanted <laughs> it's them. Just, but it was something you wanted, but it, it wasn't something yeah. like crazy. It's a really cool Bluetooth or, speaker for everybody. Yeah, it's just a portable <laughs> Bluetooth speaker for everybody. But it was, it was kind of funny. But I was, I, the, the card... I didn't know they had shower cards. So it's like okay. happy shower. And I'm like, this is hilarious. You're so dirty. Happy shower. <laughs> so anyway, so it was great. A, and uh, my ties are awesome. If you need the recipe, hit me up. <laughs> right. Oh, it's an awesome, it is an awesome recipe. Uh, all right. So we kind of stopped, jumped right into it, but I wanted to say mm-hmm. um, that we have a couple new podcasts yes. to the musings of a geek podcast network mm-hmm. that we wanted to welcome. Musings of a geek dot com. Last week, I said uh, Dan was getting lazy. He's he's kind of the. Uh, I think he actually was on the vacation. brains <laughs> behind the child and uh, the one who keeps us all happy and and fed and paid and makes sure the jets on time to pick us up for our of next course, corporate course, gig as you should. Um, and he picked up uh, two new, really amazing podcasts this week. Uh, um, Media Feed, which is a movie review podcast. Did you read or have you listened to their podcast yet? I haven't yet. Did you read their their little bio? I did. Okay. I really like, this is like kind of the movie podcast I would do if I was doing one. It's right. very like, you know, the, whatever they like is what they like. They're not going to, if they like a Michael Bay movie, they're not going to apologize for it. You know, right. it's not like we, we're going to, I don't know. It's cool. I really like the bio. So um, Media Feed Podcast, um, check them out and- and one of my favorites, of course, is uh, How Was This Movie has joined Musings of a Geek, which is super awesome. So now I can even pimp that yeah, <laughs> podcast I'm, even more. <laughs> yeah. I know, well, now it's like not only are you pimping the podcast, but you're also pimping the network at the same right. time. It's, that's a and win-win it's, right it's, there. It's really cool because you had, well, we both had, but you more had been in contact with Dana mm-hmm. and talking about the podcast, I want to say for over a month now. Oh, at least, it's yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. I mean, on our show. I mean, I know right. you've been listening for a while. So it's really cool that, you know. Right. It's kind of funny because of- the first time I heard it, I told you about it like the next day. I'm like, oh, I just listened to this podcast yeah. and they did this whole thing about Batman. It was really cool and really interesting and you should listen to that. And R- right. So that started a long time ago. And so it's nice that. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which, which, <laughs> that he's in the, in the family now. Which leads me into to something else I was going to say. It's what I learned this week. Okay. Is there is such a thing as listening to too many podcasts in a day? Because <laughs> I try to listen to – well, I do. I listen to everything on our network. Yeah, me too. Which is now a ton of freaking podcasts. I actually ha- have to have a list now and I take yeah, notes. Yeah, I have to – I have. To, yeah, I, I, I need to keep it all in yeah. order by um, – I mean obviously st- stuff totally sticks with you, but like right. sometimes you need a reminder of like – Oh, is that on episode 53 or 54? Well, oh, this crap. week with Musings, I'm like, oh, I'm listening to this. No, I listen to that. I'm listening to this one. No, I listen to that one too. I got all confused. Which <laughs> but yeah, it, it got to the point where I was so tired of hearing people talk, no matter who it was. I'm like, I cannot listen to another podcast. I just, and when I drove home one day, I couldn't have music. I couldn't have anything because I, I listened to podcasts from the time I got up till the time I got off work. And it was like, it was just overload but yeah there and and i want to listen to all our friends podcasts too but it's getting to the point now where i just can't i can't listen to that not because i don't want to i'm running out of time i can't listen so it's like i have to kind of pick and choose which sucks so it's so it's like now i'm starting to piggyback so like i'm missing a week you know of this person's podcast and then i'll pick it up a week later but uh still trying because i enjoy them all but it's like oh my you know Right, and now you're going. And into now your with Dan, he's probably going to have 16 more podcasts next week, and I'm going to be like, "Great, <laughs> damn it, Dan, we need a break." <laughs> What's cool is I like all the podcasts. Well, that's it just really it. Like you suck. want to listen to them, you're like, oh, "I only have time to listen like one day. Which one can it be?" Like it's almost like you need to roll the dice. And yeah. Like okay. And I know there's going to be one eventually that comes on that'll be. Like, oh, I'm not a big fan, and which is totally fine. You know, we've talked about it. I'm sure right. people have that feeling. I'm our sure show, we're not, it's yeah, totally cool. Cup of tea. Uh, but so far, you know, it's all, and I, what I really like is when I listen to podcasts and there's people on the podcast that don't listen to podcasts, uh, for some reason, I think that's like so cool. It's like, <laughs> I don't listen to these freaking things. I just, what? I record Aww. it. I'm out. I don't, you know, I got, <laughs> I got other things to do. I got a life, man. I don't oh. have to listen to someone else talk. Well, I mean, I think we're both fairly lucky in the type of jobs that we do. We can 
listen to podcasts while we're at work, which isn't true for a lot of people. Right. And so a lot of people can only listen to a couple and I can get through, you know, like four or five a day yeah. if I'm really trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and obviously that also, you know, when you're working in a room with headphones on, you're kind of closing off the rest of the crew. But the, the interesting thing for me is the ones that have dropped off the table mm -hmm. are more of the bigger podcasts. Yeah, I haven't like, been listening to the bigger ones that I like at and that's all what got me I don't in. have time. That's what got me in. I didn't <laughs> even know there was a whole indie podcast I didn't you know, movement either, yeah. until we started. So now it's, you know, there's only a, like a few of the big podcasts um, that I that I listen to. I still listen to uh, Things You Miss in History Class just because mm -hmm. I'm a history fan. Mm -hmm. And I listen to uh, How Did This Get Made? Because it reminds me of an indie podcast. It's right. like dudes and chicks just talking about right. a movie and what the hell is wrong with this and, you know. Um, Jason is so freaking hilarious on that show, but, um, I'm fat man. I'm Batman is the one that I go back and forth and I yeah. try to catch, uh, well, the episodes off because it doesn't, as we were talking about before, it's not time sensitive. It's just, you know, history of Batman and stuff like that. So the problem I have listening to that is almost the same problem I have listening to graphic novice, which is, it makes me want to right. go buy comics. Right. Although it's different with graphic novice because I, even though I've never met those guys, I feel like, you know, you kind of know a feel little like you're bit hanging about out with them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, but pass the box of wine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So hello and welcome to those podcasts. I also wanted to say congratulations and a thank you, uh, to Frank, uh, branches from the wicked radio network, which is the network that Pittsburgh nerd is on. I believe so. So, um, he, uh, Frank, um, He's got a bunch of podcasts, but RB, RP Grinders is, I think, the one he did. They did their 300th episode during his stint, but he was doing a live webcast and uh, going wanted to go longer than 26 hours, which I believe which he did. Record, I don't, I don't right? have, I believe so. Right. I don't have the exact. I don't know exactly how long it went, but I woke up Friday morning and I saw. Um, he was getting congratulations and stuff he, like that, right? He, no, it was more like, hey, I'm live for trying oh. to break the record for 26 hours. And Oh, I'm sorry. Starting at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. I, I usually try to start my stories. Well, you know, at, I can start at the end and backtrack. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I leave out all the names and places and make you guess. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> this is King Yellowman. <laughs> well, okay, King Yellowman. <laughs> um, so he uh, he said... He tweeted, yeah, I'm going to be on. So I tweeted, I'm like, I totally missed it. I had no idea you were doing this. And he's yeah, like, yeah, Skype in if you, you want. Told me. Yeah. yeah. And I had to take the dog to the vet, which is something I'll get into in a minute. But um, anyway, so um, I Skyped in and he allowed me to to hang out on the show for a couple hours and, and talk. And uh, I, it was a, a great time, you know, live webcast. Um, he's such a cool guy. Met a couple of the other guys on his network. Um, and we were talking how it's weird. It's like you, you make friends without ever seeing anybody. And sometimes it could be people that maybe if you saw, and we talked a little bit about this, right. I think last week, but maybe if you saw them, maybe you wouldn't be friends with them, you know, for whatever reason. And now it's like, you don't see these people, but you talk to them and you become friends. So huge congratulations. That was awesome. Freaking podcast warrior style. Going. <laughs> Longer yeah, than you 26 were, you hours. You had a good time. You were on there for a while, and I listened I a, uh, for a while while I was at work. But uh, um, I think I need, like, the app on my phone or something because it just kept – if my phone would turn off or right. it, it would shut down. And so I propped my iPad in the corner trying to listen. But, of course, then I'm blasting – that right. across the machine room and everyone's like what yeah. is that what is i'm like swearing about now and i'm like Shh. hey you guys Shh. <laughs> but it was it was a lot of fun and we were thinking of trying to get on later um but of course you know later life happens interferes and, then... and fall asleep <laughs> and you know i spent a few hours with them and i'm sure yeah. other people want to enjoy i didn't want to uh, make I'll... it about me also <laughs> but it was really make cool thing about you yeah and so i really appreciate that he uh let me jump on for a while. that was that was a lot of fun that's very it was good. A good time so congratulations to him. The Wicked Radio Network, you can find them online. Um, and Pittsburgh Nerd Podcast, which we're fans of and listen to and obviously pimp on Twitter. So kind of cool. There you go. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, my goodness. I was going to ask you about that. So it was one of my topics. Oh, there you go. We're done. Oh, okay. Peace out. Um, this is one of our <clears throat> early morning recordings yeah. because yesterday you were so busy getting hammered at uh, Lisa's house. Ooh. We got home and <clears throat> opened gifts that you didn't open there. You, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Uh, so we're having our coffee and 
podcasting this morning. Like oh, and then later today, I'm really excited about this. Oh. I'm going to be on the Green Up yes. podcast. Woo-hoo. You know, so I'm, I'm totally <laughs> stoked that, that, about that. Some, uh, some of this right here. We the town to tell the people. Yeah. No idea what he just said. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so that's going to be fun. So anyway, so it's going to be a podcast. It's been a podcast heavy weekend. Yeah, you're going to be on three podcasts this weekend. <laughs> well, I think that one was a webcast. They recorded their podcast on it, but I don't think right. they record. I don't think it's up anywhere. It just right. it was a webcast. But I think they do. I think they record their own, though, because, I mean, they must archive it somehow. Um, you're talking about RP Grinders? Uh-huh. Yeah, they, they recorded their 300th episode during the podcast. Right, but, but they the weren't rest recording of it was live. the whole Yeah, they okay. weren't recording the whole podcast. Yeah, and congratulations on 300, which was, wow, amazing. Which was awesome, so. Woo-hoo. So anyway, so you were saying, I'm sorry, go ahead. You had. I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh. What were we talking about? <laughs> you were... Oh, I was just going to say that I think it's really cool that you could be on with the Green Up guys, so. Oh, yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, I will try to be quiet in the background. I won't. Ah, in the it, background. It's so funny because uh, <laughs> uh, Ryan puts the show together and he mm-hmm. sent me the show notes and I'm like, this is like so professional. I'm like, I'm, I'm, yeah, I have a piece of binder paper with like Sharpie uh, on it. That yeah, says, and then I have a post-it on top of that because there's like something I remember I didn't want to forget. Yeah. Yeah. Mine oh. says, you know, Frank Branches, WRN. And then I got to remember what from that. And his <laughs> his was is like all pro. It's really cool. Yeah. We have a different approach. But he's been doing it for longer as well. So maybe we'll get more professional. I don't, I don't know. think and... we're going to get any more professional. <laughs> hey, come on now. Um, <laughs> the remember less that, I remember can that do. Uh, a couple weeks ago, or probably longer than that, where I forgot that I made a note of what I learned and I couldn't remember what that was. Because <laughs> I've already forgotten it. So obviously I didn't really learn it. Or the, so. the fact that I forget the sheet to, for yeah. the podcast of <laughs> like yeah. who to think and the yeah, I don't know. who's on I the don't network know. and stuff. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Super pro. So you got anything else over there? Sexy pants. Um, I was going to make a joke about how, uh, when you were taking me to the hey, party bubble. yesterday, we had to make an emergency stop at the library on their way. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. you know, in this, you know, summer dress and little. Cute, well, you were dressed Healy up. sandals. Nice. Right. Yeah. And I was like, we got to stop at the not. library. Yeah. We had to, uh, we had to return more of your audiobooks right. and recheck out. Is that how you say? Right, recheck double out. Double check out again. Yeah, I had to recheck out a couple of books I didn't get to. A couple, like six. Yeah, but <laughs> because I've listened to so many podcasts, I haven't been keeping up on my books. Yeah, well, that's <sighs> good though. You know, it's kind of neat. I mean, now what you a have world something. We live in. Yeah, <laughs> podcaster books, podcaster I know, books. I tell you, learn more. Trying on to podcasts. juggle. <laughs> <laughs> so sure about that uh, but uh yeah so the funny. so we library stop and yeah it was fun i always feel kind of silly when i go and like i didn't get to these i need to check these out again but uh, i obviously they don't care because that's what they do every day but we almost got killed <laughs> no you, you know, I just <laughs> like the clicking after what i was gonna get uh almost got killed pulling into the library yeah some lady pulled out without her blinker and yeah, if you're parked on the curb and someone has their blinker on and is already starting to turn into a parking lot, I don't think you should just dart out in front of them. No. And then give you a look as they, as you slam on your oh, brakes and they thought, pass by. I just thought that was her face. Oh. I didn't know she was giving me. I just thought she was. I'm not sure. <laughs> I was like, oh, look at that. Wow. Boy. Just, I doubt anything goes home to that. I mean, oh, Jesus. damn. <laughs> so, yeah, that was funny. I'm like, okay, well, this is a good way to start the day. That's funny. Yeah, so we were at the library at 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't open till ten on Saturdays. I wish they open earlier because I'd probably just like run out really quick. And there's nothing really quick about you running out to the library, except yesterday was quick. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I like it there. We yeah. should support the libraries. Our library is really nice, and they have all these programs, and they must be doing really well because they just got like a new signage and logo and all of that. So yeah, our too. library is really nice. Tax dollars hard at work. I would say. Yeah. Well, and it's always busy when we go going in. Li- yeah, yeah. Th- that library is fairly busy. Mm-hmm. It's not the biggest library ever, but it's fairly right. busy. But they uh, they do that thing where they work with other libraries, and so if you request something, they'll pull it from like another library in a neighboring town. Right. So, yeah. so, so that's really cool. So you don't do anything. You just say, hey, I'd like this book, and they say, okay, we'll have it for you in two weeks. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> you gotta love the library, man. We are <laughs> living the dream. <laughs> Okay. You want to have a good time? Hang with us. We'll take you to a library. <laughs> you talk about what you want to talk about then. <laughs> no, I wasn't saying that. Just having fun with it. <laughs> I like it there. They have cool stuff. They do. Uh, books. Books. And they have movies and music. And they can use the internet for free and all that. 
what I like is when we're there and you're like, oh, I should bring the iPad so I can check on these authors and these books. And I'm like, you know, there's like 25 computers right over there. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. And then you don't go over there. I'm thinking, well, couldn't, can't you take the books over there and research them all? No, it's just more complicated than that. Cause I think you have to like, uh, sign in to like use it. And then you have to go through like this little process. And I think you have to like check in with your email or something. I, I overheard one of the librarians explaining it to like a guy who wanted to use it one day. And I was like, oh. I don't. I should, I I should just bring in my iPad. One of yeah, these days I didn't and, think it was that complicated because there was one day we went where you were looking for something, and I'm like, I'm going to go over there, and I just sat down and started using the oh, computer. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe it's maybe yeah. she just had to overly explain it to him. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But, okay. I don't know. Well, cool. I mean, I should just, I just remember it to just, take It's my always iPad funny in. because it's you know it's not like no it's up on the third floor it's like wow well, God it's 15 feet it's 15 <laughs> I'm no I'm not going. I it's just it's just more of a thing about myself that like. I come here all the time and every time I come, I wish I were like had brought my iPad or a list or right. something and I never do. And I think it every time. But so the I'm funny like, thing Ugh. is you have your iPhone and then what ends up happening is, is I so use slow, though, I just, use my iPhone to yeah. do the research and I'm thinking, there's still a computer fifteen feet. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, um, I, anyway, you had a ton of stuff to talk about today, so we don't I, have to I, talk about the library. I do, so. I don't have a ton, but I had a couple things. I was listening to the 40 Goes on 14, oh, yeah, Heavy the, Metal the episode. Metal episode, yeah. Um, I listened to that too. Which was pretty good. And and um, they were talking about a bunch of bands that I liked and listened to, like and listened to. And so it got me thinking about how um, I can listen to songs from the past and it takes me back to that place mm-hmm. immediately, like almost to the day. Like if you put in a, like the Faster Pussycat nonstop to nowhere song – It'll, uh, it, it reminds me exactly of a time and place. If you put on the Soul Asylum, uh, um, I forget, uh, the, the one after Grave Dancers Union, but it takes, Ed and I were hanging out and we were playing that, that and um, what's the Billy Corgan band? Smashing Pumpkins. Right. Uh, and it just, I can remember, you know, the vehicle he was driving, how we used to dress, the car I owned at the time, the fact that we used to go, the big thing then was to go to high-tech burrito and get the surf and turf burritos <laughs> and the things we used to do. And it's it's so weird. Um, but one thing that I thought of, and I think if, if um, Henno will probably listen to this episode, but I think he'll get a kick out of this, was when the Def Leppard Hysteria album came out, mm-hmm. I think was the year... He graduated the year after, and Hanno and I are four years apart. So I was a freshman when he was a senior. And uh, the album came out, and he used to have, I believe it was a 69 El Camino. It may have been a 68. 69 oh, Black El Camino. Nice. <laughs> and uh, we used to drive, drive around. Obviously, I didn't have a license at the time, but uh, you know, he drove everywhere. And this car was just a total freaking muscle car. And it was a project car. He wanted to get it like totally souped up and it always looked good but it was it was never 100 percent complete but it was it was just it an was awesome always a car. work in progress yeah but it was a, it was an awesome car so we used to cruise around that with a tape deck blasting and i th- i nice. think he had house speakers <clears throat> behind the seats i might be mistaken about that i know i had house speakers behind my truck seat so maybe i'm getting that but anyway there was one night and i forget how the whole thing started but somebody he knew was having a party and he wanted to go steal the keg because I think he needed the keg to get back the deposit on a party he had. So we're driving down the street at night, late at night in the El Camino, blasting, not blasting, but listening fairly loudly to this Def Leppard album. And we're like, all right, we're going to go in there. So we get the keg, throw it in the back of the El Camino and start to drive away. And all of a sudden the El Camino starts filling up with smoke. Like like that chemical electrical fire smoke. Oh. And he's he's like, get out of the car, get out of the car. So he barely stops the car and we get out and he shuts it off and the smoke kind of dies down. We realized that there was a hot lead wire that was hitting underneath the dash, just hitting stuff and sparking and created this smoke. But here we are maybe a block and a half away from the house so just we stole just stole the keg. the keg from. So every time I hear anything off of freaking hysteria, it reminds me of that. It reminds me of um, there was one night. Uh, I don't know about that story. There was one night we, we were over at his house. I used to have a bunch of cassettes and I had a the dual cassette player so yes, you could record. Course. And um, he bought a bunch of blank t- tapes and he's like, well, come over and we'll have a few drinks and we'll record. I mean, 
I, I want to say he wanted to record like 20 to 50 cassettes. So it was going to be, you know, and, you, and it was An like, all night kind of thing. and we weren't going to do it at twice the speed because, you know, it, that's not an accurate reproduction. Right. Of course not. Of course not. So we, we got there <laughs> and we ridiculous. started making drinks and we were filling out the little card. So he would, know, you know, so it has like the name and the songs and all that. Right. And the next morning you could tell as the night went on because like the handwriting starts and it's fine. By the end of the night, it's like going down the page and the letters are really, really big. And, uh yeah, there were, as more drinks happen and how you got more tired and, there was that and there was one oh, night he awesome. had a he was <laughs> having a party and i had a little too much to drink and uh i couldn't spend the night i had to i had to go back home and uh i rem- i think it was in um what's the freddy krueger movies nightmare on elm street, nightmare on elm street right. uh one of the kids was eating um what is it the instant coffee to stay awake and i remember asking him like do you have any coffee instant coffee and he's like yeah and I'm like, okay, I think that'll sober me up. So I was eating instant coffee to try to sober up. And then the bastard puts me on the back of his, well, I would consider him a friend too, but his buddy's motorcycle. And that's how I freaking get ridden all the way out to the valley on the back of this motorcycle. And he is freaking going, he's all he said, uh, Bernie, who was driving the motorcycle, all he said was just hold on tight. And dude was flying, absolutely flying. And so... Oh. Got my drunk carcass home, but there's Def Leppard for you. So, <laughs> do you have do you have any um, you know, like musics or can you think musics? musics. What am I oh, on no. the AM radios? <laughs> uh, do you have any music or songs or bands that you can think of that would take you like right back to a time in high school or, um, you know, I uh, well, I don't know about that as much as. For me, it's kind of more movies, I think. But um, there's definitely kind of some, um, like, when I hear, like, that psychedelic uh, first song from uh, the Pretty Pink soundtrack or something, mm-hmm. it just reminds me of high school. Is and, that the Don't You? Yes. Don't, don't you forget. Don't you um, no, forget that's, uh, about me. Is that psychedelic first? I don't think so. No. I that's just, that's... A, that's not even Pretty in Pink. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm that's t- breakfast, thinking about. That's uh, Breakfast Club. Yeah. But, um. But I think for me, whenever I think of, uh, ooh, it, that's actually true. Um, I when I think about uh, high school and bands, um, a, a band that really changed my outlook on music in high school was Bauhaus. Yeah. As soon as I heard Bauhaus, I was like, oh. So huh. if you hear a song, does it can will it take you back? To a little that bit. Time? I mean, I don't remember specifics. Right. I just. I remember kind of it reminds me of that time right but it, i i'm also just reminded of like how much i enjoyed it when i first listened right. to it and i still enjoy it and i enjoy it from um that time period like the music that came out in like that couple of years around that time. right were, were you always a music person like when you were very young were you into music or or was the Bauhaus when you started getting into music um I don't think I really got into music until I got into high school and before oh, okay. that I used to read a little bit more okay and uh um I think it's because like when I um entered like junior high high school is when I got my own stereo in my room and okay. I got my own little tv in my room and, and so, when was this um junior high you said I or think at the um, in junior high. Okay, and I think it's when I started getting into it because uh, you know you started spending a lot more time <laughs> in your room by yourself. Right, right, right. As a teenager, well, I and, spent a lot of time uh, in the bathroom by myself. But yeah, I get you. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, and I had a really cool uh, dual cassette desk and record player combo, so I could record and tape yeah. and add records and tons of tapes. I still have those tapes. And now I actually took all my tapes to work because we have a tape player in our little stereo system in my workshop in the basement. And we actually have a tape days sometimes. Oh, that's where cool. We all have like, I'll put on a tape and be like, hey, name this band. And, yeah. You know, and so it's kind of fun. But That's uh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, because I can even do it like later. Well, I mean, all, whatever, whatever the song or band is, it takes me back to that time. Right. So it's... Um, I mean, I think it brings back a, a time and place, but I wouldn't say as for you, like you have a specific sto- story to that. Like I don't, I can't think of one that I have a specific oh, story okay. to, but it's, but it reminds me of high school. Right, or, right, right. And I, I think maybe for me, because I had music playing all the time. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was nonstop and almost still do when I'm not listening to podcasts. So right. uh, yeah, I, I, another big memory 
not as not a story, but I remembering because I was such a, a glam rock metal guy. Mm-hmm. I mean, as well as everything else, was when grunge was introduced, and it was such a culture shock for me to be like, "Wait, these dudes want to dress like they look like crap? Right. They're dressing down." I just spent four years dressing pretty. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, I don't want to see the chicks that dig that, you know. Right. But uh, yeah, and it was always funny to like, you know, be playing Soundgarden and go from Soundgarden to Poison, right. you know. So that's one of the most awesome things about you, though. Like you love music, like you listen to everything. Yeah, there's there's no like pretentiousness about it. And no, there is, you know, like there's really no genre or kind of music I don't like. There are music. There's music that Mm -hmm. I won't like necessarily put on on purpose. But if it's on, I like it. But yeah, I like I like everything. I like rap, country, Mm -hmm. um you have the most eclectic iTunes. Yeah. <laughs> <I do>. Library. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and you know who I think is is even more eclectic than me is Heno. Yeah. And and I think that's one reason uh why my music um style grew was because for a while it was like no, I only listen to or would only admit to listening to like right. rock. But like I was a total closet Duran. I had all the Duran Duran stuff and never told anybody. <laughs> and Nate was like a big Cure fan. Mhm. Um, and so I ended up like the cure, didn't tell anybody, right. um, all the, you know, I you even supported like the band behind the scenes by buying those records, the, <laughs> the Smiths, Thompson twins, all that stuff, Berlin right. loved all that stuff, but wouldn't, wouldn't tell anybody. Um, and Hanna wasn't like that at all. He was very much like, no, I listen to this. I listen to that. I like this. And he, he was, you know, an accomplished musician at a young age. So, right. um, so it, it almost, it's like his, him doing that gave me the the confidence to be like yeah I'll listen to whatever I want you know like Bon Jovi still do <laughs> love it um so no so I don't know music was just such a huge part so that 40 going on 14 uh was a lot of fun for me right and hearing the guys <laughs> talk about it it was right. it was really cool it was, it was again, a really enjoyable episode like another experience of like these guys are totally my buddies. Right. They have no clue who I am, <laughs> you know? So, but it's, it's, it was fun. I don't Good. think you actually mentioned that uh, when you were listening to all the Musings podcasts that it felt like you were hanging out with Des. I don't think. Oh, I know. actually have that written down. So, so <laughs> it's one, something funny that you told me when I got home from work that day. <laughs> yeah. One, one day I was catching up on, um, the pod, some of the podcasts on our network. And, um, one that I was behind on was the, Arkham Social Hour or mm-hmm. Arkham Social Hour, <laughs> as Nick likes to say, which uh, Des is on. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I had to catch up on Pilot's podcast, uh, right. which Des is on. And I had to catch up on the musings of a geek podcast, which Des is on. <laughs> so I think it was five or six podcasts that I listened from the time I left the house. And this was not the day. And Des is going to be right, like, right. cool, so you listen to me and all of a sudden you don't want to listen to pod. No, this was not the day. Uh, <laughs> So I, from the time I left the house till I, I think right after lunch, it was nonstop podcasts and Des was in every single one. <laughs> so by the time I was done, I felt like I spent the whole freaking day with Des, right. which is funny. You got up to have lunch and you're like, hey, Des, what do you want? Oh, no. Totally. <laughs> which is totally funny because I do this thing like when they're, when they're talking on their podcast in my head, and I'm sure sometimes out loud since I work by right. myself, I answer and I'm like, no, it was this or, oh my God, no way. Yeah. And um, there's stuff that that um, Des doesn't like that that like I'm a big fan of. And are you um, talking back to him? <laughs> and I am. And and I certainly don't ever get the feeling of like, you know, like oh because I, he likes this and or I like this and he doesn't. The guy's a jerk. Not at all. It's just different tastes. I mean, that's all it is. It's just right. fun stuff. But it's so funny because like he'll say something and I'll be wanting to like call in and be like dude i have that you know i'm totally into that or you know like the nightmare before christmas monopoly board or something like that you know (laughs) you want to call in and tell them how awesome it is you don't know (laughs) um but But, it was really but he taped that like three weeks ago so it doesn't make sense now (laughs) but it was really cool because you know i heard him and all these different um podcasts uh and it was actually a lot of fun. I, right. I really enjoyed it. And, and at the end, it was almost, it was funny because I, I was tweeting like, you know, um, you know, it uh, feels like I spent a day with Des and, you know, and, oh, you know, listen to all these podcasts and they were great. And it's not like he listened to six hours of me that day. So I had this thing, like we had this connection and like, right. we're, you know, it's like, Des we're totally cool. <laughs> <laughs> again, he's probably like living his life, doing his right. day thing, having no clue. And I'm like, yeah, me and Des are tight. 
<laughs> we brothers. He's like, uh, okay. he's like, I don't know. Stalker guy. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I don't know. Where are you from? The, the feet podcast. I don't know. Oh, who you are. No, but it was, it was a lot of fun. And they were all, the cool thing about it was, um, they were all so enjoyable that I never got bored, you know, cause especially when it's the same person, you'd start thinking like, okay, I've heard enough of it, but it wasn't, it was, it was a lot of fun. And, and, uh, it was a good time. And it's so cool in podcasts to hear the different personalities yeah. of people. And um, yeah, yeah, it was it was fun. The ones so, you listen to a lot, you kind of learn I, their personalities and stuff. Was kind of I spent a whole day with Des. Um, I think he owes me dinner or something now. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> At least a phone call. I don't something. know. Hello. Is this yeah. on? <laughs> <laughs> so. That's pretty funny. Yeah. So that was, that was my day with Des. That's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Um. I was going to say, I don't know if uh, people, uh, we live in Napa and uh, there's a couple of cool new. Uh, you don't know if people live in Napa? I don't know if people know we live in Napa. Oh, okay. But, um, so there's some cool <laughs> music venues around here. There's the Uptown Theater, Uptown. which we mentioned before. And we, uh, it's a refurbished old like movie theater. And um, Where we saw Toad the Way yes. It Sprocket. Um, I'm not doing a musical episode right now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you want to sing a Toad song? I do not. All right. But you go ahead. No. Okay. Um. It's a really cool place to see a band, but um, there's this other one called City oh, Winery. Crap. I still haven't bought the David Sedaris tickets. Oh, what? Jesus! All right, it's gonna go be sold on. Out. Sorry, um, it's going to sold out. It's going to be sold out. All right, sorry. Do it, baby. I better yeah. write that down. Better go ahead. <laughs> so, um, there are some more bands coming in town, and when you said uh, Berlin, I, I instantly was going to say, "Hey, Berlin's going to play down the street." But oh, Berlin's going to be here. Yeah. Um, I oh. can't remember if they're going to play at Uptown or City Winery, but Take both are really cool. Away. Exactly. I could totally go for that. Um, oh. So if you want to go, that's happening. Jason was telling me that he saw... Um, um, when he went to Bottle Rock, he saw The Cure. He said they, they rocked it like a hurricane. Like a bottle? Yeah. They rocked it like a bottle? They did. Anyway, just wanted to say there's some cool upcoming shows. We should check them out. All right. And and whoever's listening to the podcast, you know, like all you people in France, (laughs) (laughs) if you want to come, join us. Oh, so yeah. So we mentioned France last time. Mm -hmm. Still blowing us up. And the cool thing is this last week, for some reason, huge in France, Japan loves us. (laughs) Thank you, Japan. People in Japan. And um I think it was Roy from Green Up that brought up said, you know, is it Oh, because they're getting a lot of Russian listeners. Yeah, and he's like, like, is it is it actually Russian people? Or? People like people in Russia or is it um maybe military that's stationed right. around the world? And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool a really too. Good point, yeah. yeah. Either way, it's awesome. Right. Um, There's a couple of podcasts that we listen to that one or two of them are, are actually Russian. stationed overseas. Uh yeah, uh um best of uh, best, best of the worst. Of the worst. Yeah. Right. And then oh, gosh, there's another one. I don't want to I don't is it Green Up or Graphic Novice that had a person that was stationed overseas? I think Green Up. Uh, it's one of their uh, guys is on a boat. Right. He's on a boat. Oh, yeah. we should have that song. <laughs> Somebody write that down. <laughs> oh, I don't have my, my phone. Yeah. But uh, that's pretty funny. Oh, and when we were talking about, uh, I was catching up on all of my uh, Musings podcasts. And I think on one of the Arkham Social Hours, uh, Des asks um, what their favorite uh, Musings podcast network podcast is and brandon said dark angels and pretty freaks thank you very much brandon that's awesome because that's my favorite too <laughs> more about me always about me that should um, be a how t-shirt are we doing on time do we have to do our favorite five now or do you um, i know you have other stuff i just wasn't well sure where we are. i think we're okay we're 43 minutes i think oh, we can cool. go a can bit. i have something else real quick go. um so when we're talking about the uptown theater and the napa winery um you know i also you, wanted you to mention you t-rexed me a minute ago, you were like, did I just eh. do this? <laughs> <You're> like, eh. <laughs> Please all right. watch the YouTube video. God. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Um, up to next girl. weekend, they're doing Don't another really cool thing here in Napa world. called Porch Fest. Yeah, it's for people with guts. Okay, so um, is it not? No. Oh. <laughs> um, so here in Napa, and I think there's a Porch Fest in Chicago. Um, and there's, um, I think it's this woman named Theo who owns a really, really cool um, store downtown called Wild Fox. Wild Fox, and it's kind of vintage plus new. It's not and Wild like, Fox. It's not Wild Fox. Wild it's Cats. Wild Cats. Thank you. Yeah. Ooh, wild Fox is a restaurant. That's right. <laughs> right. So Fire Wild Cats. Fox. Movie. Uh, Web browser. Okay. 
So Wildcats, her name's Theo, and she put together this Porch Fest thing. And it, her story is really awesome. It's kind of rockabilly, vintage, and new stuff. And it's just cool crap. And clothing. Yeah. Um, and, and accessories. accessories. Yeah. Ooh, nice. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, Porch Fest is where a whole bunch of local bands, nothing too big. Um, Do it, yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, people volunteer their porches, and bands come and hang out at their house on the porch and they play for all of Napa. And there's something like a hundred bands this year, which means there's a hundred places or people's houses to go out and like see bands. And apparently the best way to go about it is to like get on a bike and they actually have like a, a map this year. And so it's getting bigger every year. And so we picked up the map at the library when we were there. Cause the library is awesome. That's why. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and our friend Jason's band's playing on someone's porch. And yeah. we don't have a porch, so no one's playing here. But uh, then, uh, and, you Watch know, it's it. this really cool thing. Thanks. <laughs> um, and some of the, I guess some of the people who donate their porch actually, like, either give out free food and drinks or, like, have a barbecue and you can, like, buy a hamburger for a dollar or something like that. So And they have, and they set up, like, lawn chairs and stuff. and Because yeah. obviously, otherwise, they'd be destroying your yard. So you kind of try to organize it a little bit better than that. But right. how cool is that? And it's obviously free. You just wander around town and listen to bands. and Yeah, it's cool. It's I, really you're awesome. You're going to see if uh, Ninja wants to. Yeah, I'm going to see if Ninja wants to go because you're going to be I'll busy. Be so, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no, I, it's something... Uh, look forward to do but if it's always around this time i doubt i'll be able to right. but i think it is yeah the, it is but. cool and it is it's kind of a neat idea and it, obviously it's it's amplified music but it's not like they get crazy no not at all yeah so i mean uh, it's going to be most i mean you're not going to see a metallica cover band no unless <laughs> unless they play acoustic which could be cool um, I, I think, and gabriella yeah style. i think that um i think jason was telling me like all the bands like submit like yeah. a couple a sample you know song who, or you something know who like we that. should tell is Corey. yeah actually yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, it's, well, yeah. I was gonna say it has to be local, but it's it's in the local and na- neighboring towns. Yeah. Say so, yeah. No. 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 Near, I mean, yeah. There's a few bands from Petaluma coming and all that. So right. anyway, I just wanted to throw that because no, it sounds really cool, and you guys have something like that around. It's really awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, very cool. So I don't know if we should. I think we should probably get into the top five because that typically takes us a little little while. Um, and I, and I don't think I'm going to expand on my top five very much. I think I'm just going to give you my list. No, I might have <laughs> questions about it. Okay. <laughs> um, and my, I had the zero, uh, vet oh, story, but I think that's, that, I think that's going to take a little, that's topical. <laughs> yeah. I think that's going to take a little time, but I can, I can tell it next week. That's fine. I mean, he's not going anywhere. All right. Well, we'll see. And post a picture of a doped up dog. <laughs> um, so let's go to our um favorite five yeah and our favorite five this week was a movie superhero comic book logos oh i thought we were just doing uh, superhero logos i didn't it was get super, any further it was superhero that. logos right <laughs> okay <laughs> um because I didn't do movies, although I suppose one of them could be construed as yeah. the movie well, version. Well, mine but... might be a little different than yours then. Okay. So well, we, we're not exactly sure what the top five is this week, but we're going to give you <laughs> answers to what we think we were supposed to All right. to say. Um, uh, you want to go first? Sure. Uh, do it, do it, Ja. Oh, see, I, I changed. Uh, I, oh, God, uh, I totally blew it. Well, no, oh, now it's too late. It's you, too late. Well, you lost it. I lost it. Yeah. I just, right. just wasn't concerned. I was. I pulled that other uh, page up in case you needed to show me a visual. I'll show you a visual. <laughs> Check out the YouTube video. Easy. <laughs> Crotch shot album cover. Woo. Woo. All right. Okay. Um. So favorite five. Uh, hero. So What's hero your logos. number five? Uh, my number five is Spawn. So is mine. Is it really? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm a. Go ahead. <laughs> Chris. There you go. I am a. Uh, I am a Spawn fan, and I do right. like the the logo. I think it's kind of cool. I am not a huge Spawn fan, but I really like the logo. I think it's well done. It's right. cool. And when you see it, you're like, you, Spawn. You, you can stay in front of the microphone. You're like, but I don't, because I want to see you, and the mic takes up like my whole face. <laughs> you're leaning over. You should do I'm the, like, Hi. the T-Rex arms and the lean. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. Don't worry. Luckily, I can't reach it. Yeah. <laughs> Although this setup is good because you never hit it. What? That is not a good thing? <laughs> yes. That was the whole point. Yes. All right. Oh so, okay. what's your number four? Transformers. 
That's my number four also. Are you kidding? No. And I Let actually, me see your list. <laughs> it actually says, it's, I mean, it's Scribble, but number four, Transformer, Autobot, Decepticon. Like, I didn't pick one of the two of those. I actually like the Decepticon logo more. I prefer more. the Autobots. Yeah. But... And I always wanted to get a sticker for the car, but I know a lot of the the dudes that have like the souped up uh, right. imports, you know, and I'm like, right. uh, kind of. And my brother choosing. used to be a huge Transformers fan. I think he had a couple stickers somewhere. I don't know if he ever had one on his car. Yeah. 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 I was, I was, was an am a huge Transformers. What did you just do with your eyes? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're very excited. Stop making fun. You're talking about making, your list. I'm not making fun. <laughs> I'm just curious. You scared me. I'm doing um, T-Rex arms. I'm leaning to the, <laughs> you're leaning to the side. You're giving me like the crazy wild Mom eye. Is tired. Mom uh, is tired. Don't, don't call yourself my eye. It grosses me out. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Um, I was big into the Transformers toys. And actually, I enjoy the Transformer movies because all I want to see is Transformers destroy. I don't care about the storyline. Right. I just want really good effects. I well, want slow case, motion. Whoa, whoa. I want slow motion <laughs> helicopters falling from the sky. And and Michael Bay Mills, you will get that and every time. Just, I want cars flipping over people and the, yep. I don't, the people don't get Guaranteed. hurt. Guaranteed. Yeah. And, and everyone's going to walk away. And <laughs> awesome. Freaking just Transformers talking like, you know, like yes. I want I want robots peeing on other people. I want it wow. all. Don't you remember that? Bumblebee peed on. I think it was. No, it wasn't. I think it was Ratchet. Somebody peed on somebody. I don't know it was oil. That. But, you know, anyway. Um, <laughs> I don't remember that. So but what's your number three? Wonder Woman. Very nice. I do mm-hmm. not have Wonder Woman on mine. I, oh, I meant to bring it in here. I I'm, actually have a Wonder Woman um, bracelet. It's a black leather band. It has the Wonder Woman symbol, which I actually won. On Wonder Woman Day, which is um, a thing that Excalibur Comics in Portland does, they do Wonder Woman Day for women's charities where famous artists um, draw Wonder Woman, different versions of Wonder Woman, and they auction them off, and it makes a crap ton of money. One of the original pieces we have of art that you have in the Hanging in the Living Room is Wonder Wonder Woman's in it. Mm -hmm. Um, But uh, anyway, and it's actually kind of uh, strikes me, reminds me of our tattoos as well. So I... um, I actually don't like the Wonder Woman logo mm-hmm. because okay. I didn't. No, 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 no. It, it's a bad because I didn't like the WWF logo, and it reminds me of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, so it's weird. It's just something when I see it, I don't think Wonder Woman. I think of like a bad WWF. Oh, yeah. That's sorry. why. And because I really, <laughs> I really want to like the Wonder Woman logo because I like. I really like Wonder Woman, okay. and I, I really like as I like female singers. I really like female superheroes. Mm-hmm. Not that there's a lot of them. Um, so I, I almost, and I know you can't, but I almost wish they'd do a new Wonder Woman logo because mm-hmm. I think they could do something really cool with right. like boobs I, I mean, something. I agree. What? what? I'm joking. I mean, I just, and uh, the one that is like with the eagle and the spread wings and stuff like that, that one's really cool. But um, it right. just because I think, again, as a girl in comics yeah, and it sure. meant, it becomes to uh, mean a little bit more to you. And then um, I have such a fond memories of like doing Wonder Woman Day with the comic guys and yeah. raise so much money for charity. So like we just super support like Wonder Woman Day and we all like have these little things that we got from the day and so it's kind of a special cool thing. So are we on my third? Yes. My third is the Punisher. Nice. That's on my list. hmm I just I mean I'm obviously a huge fan of skulls, but I just always and I like the the character in the comic, but I just really like that logo. Yeah, it's a really good logo. Yeah. It's very simple, but it really when you see it, exactly. Gets you know a point exactly across. what it is. So uh what are we on? Are we on your number, number two? two? Yeah. My number two is Batman. That's on my list too. <laughs> <laughs> um and I like all the versions of Batman. Obviously the iconic um yellow and black, of course. Yeah. But um, but there's almost no Batman symbol that no. I don't like. Even I like can't the dark think of one. ones and all that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, when I was, you know, looking them up, I, when I saw all the versions, like I couldn't even pick one. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Hands that, down. That's blanket statement. Right. Batman right. logo of all kinds. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, my number two is the crow logo, which isn't that exciting. That's funny because it's on my little side list because I like made a, si- a list and then right. I pulled off the list and the crow was the, just the one that was – it was between, like, Crow and Spawn. Right, right. Yeah, the Crow um, – I, I was just – or am a big fan of yeah, the yeah. graphic novels. And it's so funny because, you know, they're, the art is fairly simplistic. Right. The story is just super dark. Mm-hmm. And there's just something about that logo. I think, we, obviously, if I just saw the logo right. and it had – you know, Well, maybe. it's really intense. And so I actually think that the simple art fits it because yeah. it – the story is so intense. That's actually kind of nice. That yeah, is simple. I, I really like it. So uh, so that's my number two. And what's your number one? Punisher. Very nice. 
My number one is Batman. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so that's, that's funny. So, that we had really similar lists. That's yeah. so funny. We only had one different. Yeah. And you had the crow mentioned. So right. Really. And, yeah. And you can actually see it on my little yeah. piece of paper here. That is funny. Hey. Uh, oh, we're so cute. We're so I think they shut cute. it off about 10 minutes ago. And we're like, oh. oh, I have that on my list too. They're like, oh, you I think they shut off after idiots. I did T-Rex arms. Hey. <laughs> or when you were leaning. They're going to watch the video. I know. Just like, the leaning. Yeah. I didn't even notice I was leaning until you said that. I just was trying to see you better. I think it's this little arch that throws you off. And but... plus, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm farsighted in this eye. And so this little uh, thing. Now I have twitchy eye. Well, that's right. too funny. So... There we go. There's our five. We nice. Did. Special request. Do we have request. time for a puppy face story? What's, what's puppy face? Uh, Special request. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. I, I think well. it'll... I, I mean, we're we're almost at an hour now. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to rush to the pu- puppy. I think I'd be just better to, okay. to wait for next week. I want to make sure, though, because... It is funny. I didn't I don't think I heard all of the story. Yeah. The, part that i got and the picture is amazing so. yeah no no we'll do uh <laughs> we'll, we'll do that <laughs> we'll do drug puppy story we'll do next drug stuff. puppy next story so um we will finish up uh i last week we had uh, a commercial uh that nickel did afterwards mm-hmm. uh we have another one mm-hmm. this week so stay tuned he does he does amazing. a good work yeah uh He's actually hilarious. need him to send me more <laughs> we've used all those we need uh, yeah, some more did, yeah i need more <laughs> and a box of wine and a box of wine we'll go get the box of wine <laughs> so uh I wanna, you have um, any i want to thank everybody for using our promos we did those promos and we sent them out and yes they were on like four or five podcasts this week and so yeah. thank you nope. you guys so much i mean we're, we're a little new at it and we're uh i think we did a good job but we're getting better and we're gonna do some more and we've we've had some requests for more we're, we're gonna try and do some this weekend however it's getting into a super busy time with me and then we're we're leaving for the wedding so right. if we don't get them done right now it'll probably not be till september <laughs> uh, but, but we'll try we're gonna do it and thank you because right. we got a bunch sent to us this week too yes, and so you thank you so much that's really cool helping us out with that too so um i could do promos and just do this no? That would be good. <laughs> so, somebody might like that. I don't know. <laughs> and we're hoping when we come back from vacation to have our very own Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks app for Android, uh, nice. Google devices, and iPhones. Woo-hoo. Which we don't know what the hell that means, but it sounds fun. So right. we're going to see what happens. Yeah. So I think they can just like do the app and it just kind of automatically loads the I show. Could, I could it, imagine. Right? Yeah, I'm hoping it's about me. Right. Yeah. I'm do you just sure want to call it the Neil app then? Or? I'm just going to submit a picture of me. Okay. And Fair then enough. that's, yeah, it'll be like my birthday. Right. You know, when we're to send gifts. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. Homages to and songs about. Right. Yeah, perfect. So we are Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. <laughs> As I said last week, thank you so much for listening. We know you have a choice and we're glad you choose us. <laughs> uh, let's see. Call us, leave. Oh, we were supposed to do the voice mail. Oh, damn it. This, no, the reason we did is I just, they're really good voicemails. Yes. We have a lot of them. Jerk Zeus, I we'll don't, get to you. God damn I don't it. want to rush through it. I think <laughs> yeah. I can. we can make a really cool show out of it. So um, keep sending them because I think what's going to happen is is we're going to release it either as the only show or as an additional show. Or as a bonus. Because podcast, it's gonna, right? it's, they are very funny and it's a lot of fun. And I just thought. They, yeah, they deserve the airplay. <laughs> yeah, if we get a few more. And I really want to do it well. I didn't want to just splice together, together, together and be like, yeah. here's a voicemail. Here's a voicemail. Um, any of the voicemails we get that are topical obviously we will just read and or play and be like right. yeah we'll answer your question <laughs> so if you have any questions for us uh email us at darkangels and pretty freaks at gmail.com please call us 774 dapf 713 that's 774 you can find us and all the amazing podcasts at musings of a geek.com podcasts sisses such as musings of a geek I should just play that, that thing <laughs> My you do recordings, when you're yeah. yeah. Musings of a Geek, uh, Pilot's Podcast, The Arkham Social Hour, History of Bad Ideas, Graphic Novice, Jerk Zeus Radio, Hard to Swallow, Media Feed, How Is This Movie, Comic Arguments, um, which they don't, they don't do all the time. They do it every now and then, but I like to mention it. 40 Going on 14, The Cue from Hell, Who the What Now, Sweating the Small Stuff, Best of the Worst Movie Podcast, Graphic Novice, uh, Culture Babble. Check out culturebabble.com. 
check out couchpotatonation.com. There's awesome podcasts on uh, that network, mm-hmm. which are uh, awesome. I, Heart of Swallows over there too. Yeah. Um, and, oh, wanted to say uh, the Unholy Matrimony is now married with Pod. Yeah. So that's uh, – they're the lovely right. folks who are, are who run Couch Potato Nation. They had to change their – um, name. name of their podcast. So Married with Pod, please check it, that out. Uh, again, thanks so much to Green Up for having me on later today. Um, Go team. That's going to be a lot of fun. Find us on Facebook at DARS, blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> f- please follow us on Twitter. We have an actual DAPF pod account for Twitter. We really don't use it. We just use our personal ones because we do more interaction that way. So I'm at Angels Freak 7 I'm Wiretech Girl. And did I forget anything? Darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com. Yep. We love you all so much. Yes. We couldn't have done this without <laughs> all the work that I put into it. Um, oh, wow. You know, everything that I do every week mm-hmm. to get the podcast ready, to get the soundboard That's up. That's actually pretty true. Mic placement, GoPro video. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, most of the podcasts I listen to, I pr- I'm pretty sure can keep going because of me. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just wanted to, for, for me, I just right. wanted to say uh, thank you to myself nice. for, for being me. <laughs> and a thank you to you for realizing how awesome I am and sure. saying yes to marrying me. <laughs> 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 All, All right. right. All right. I think that's it. Thanks, guys. Do you have any anything else? Nope. Oh, my God. We're ending <laughs> it on that. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. You're a rich girl and you're gone too far. Cause you know it don't matter anyway You can rely on the old man's money You can rely on the old man's money It's a bitch girl But it's gone too far Cause you know it don't matter anyway Hey, speaking of rich girls Me and the guys here at Graphic Novice Wanted to welcome our very own musings of a geek rich girl Mr. Bob Holt And his esteemed co-host Amy To the wonderful world of podcasting over at musingsofageek.com, they've been providing us all with some really great articles, and now it looks like they'll be launching a podcast. Let me tell you, there's only a few things that we really geek out over here at Graphic Novice, and besides comics, you're probably going to hear a lot about the other two of them over at the Culture Babble. You guessed it, soccer and Doctor Who. Love it. Totally stoked. Pound sign excited. So anyway, be sure to keep your eye on the interwebs because the culture babble is going to get ready to smooth up in you sooner than you think. Amy, Bob, have at them. Let's get ready to babble about culture. The show is called Culture Babble. Uh, that, that's all I got. Uh, end of the promo. You are now leading the world of Musings of a Geek Podcast Network. Stay geeky, my friends.